Hello, Cancer, and welcome to your monthly forecast. My name is Nicholas Ashbaugh. This is my furry assistant, Apollo. It's great to see all of you. Uh, if you're new here, this monthly forecast can help you through the next six to eight weeks, and this is for December 2023. All right, Apollo is now on the floor relaxing, and we're going to get started here on your channeled messages. Uh, these come through dreams, and the first dream today was about knowing when to stop preparing and knowing when to kind of get out of your own head when it comes to basically anxiety or preparation or perfectionist tendencies. So I was watching as someone was reading a teleprompter. Basically, there were lines that were being fed to them. Um, it could also represent the basically all of the studying or the work that you might be doing to make sure that you've memorized something. And then I watched the actual presentation, the person talking. The problem was, and I'm sure you've seen commercials on television or you've watched a teacher or a public speaker before, where they read it line by line. Even I don't read this line by line. I just glance at it to jog my memory. I had a really great speech and rhetoric teacher that taught us how to, we would write our speeches and then he said, all right, now memorize that, but then just put it into bullets. And then when you glance, you're gonna remember what you wrote and you'll be able to elaborate on that. Um, so I still do that to this day. I use bullets in the slide. I don't read them verbatim. I just use them to organize what I wanna say and to basically remind me of what I had kind of thought about this morning to talk to you about. So that's it. You don't wanna read it to the point that it sounds like you're reading a script that your eyes are going back. You wanna engage with the person. So know when to put the script down and then just allow for all of the homework, all the preparation, and you're just you. You're going to bring your own special sauce to this. So um, prepare, then stop, then engage. and. That eye contact, that authenticity, that's the important thing. It's not about perfect elocution. It's not about never saying the word um. It's not about any of that. It's basically, are you connecting with people? Is it real? Um, do you feel passionate about it? Do they feel passionate about what you're saying? Make a connection, all right? So for those of you that are a little bit nervous about getting on stage or in front of someone, Pick one person in that crowd and really connect with them. Chances are you're probably connecting with the rest of the group as well. And everybody's nervous when they get up in front of people. It's normal. So hopefully this gives you what you need to get out of your own head and just let the magic happen. You've got this. Let's move to the next stream that I had and the next psychic download. So what I saw was two actors on the stage and basically spirits asking who wants to step forward first. It whispered, you're the main character, but there's two people there. It didn't identify who was going to go first. So what I'm asking you, what Spirit's asking you is, do you want to be the first one? If, you, if so, then a window of opportunity and a series of synchronicities are awaiting you. Remember what we just talked about. It's the rehearsing, the preparation. This could have even been the karmic preparation. It's done now. What's most important now is, do you believe in yourself? Because as someone who's going to connect with that main character in a book, in a movie, or in real life, I need to believe in you. So why not take a leap of faith? That's why the fool is here. The previous card that I featured was the Seven of Cups. That is that over analysis. We need to move into the energy of um, basically creating momentum, which is the fool. So I even wrote as the last bullet as a continuation of the previous one. You can waste your whole life worrying about how ready am I? How do I compare to other people? We'll talk about this in a second. And you could just be worrying so much that you miss it when someone signals this is your moment. So I'm signaling you have a chance right now to take a step in the direction of a dream, a goal or an aspiration. The spotlight is there. Why not step into it? The next message from Spirit was to put down your phone or device and live in the now. Don't compare yourself to others. This Four of Cups nowadays could actually be connected to someone looking at an iPad, a phone, a computer, and not seeing that someone over there is trying to get their attention, not seeing that someone over there might be in need or in pain, or that there is an opportunity knocking over here. So put, put down everything for a second and really connect with what's going on. In my dream, what I saw was Spirit saying, you can't capture this on on your phone, on film, it's not something that is captured there, it's captured here. It's something that you'll see here first. So you have to basically trust in your other senses. And if there are people around you that you know really needed to be in black and white, 
uh, they lack the faith, they lack the vision, then this is a chance for you to move beyond that because that could also be a potential block here. So um, there's a hidden blessing within reach. You can, you can see that ace floating in the air in front of the person, but they have to be open. Heart and mind, and then all of the senses have to be open. So avoid distraction, avoid comparing yourself to others, because you never know when that breakout moment is happening, um, or when a, when a door is going to open up, and it feels to me like it's already underway. So have faith in yourself, be aware, be present, and don't compare yourself to other people. Just connect to yourself and think, am I tracking on the path that I want? How do I feel about the progress that I've made? That's all that matters, folks, okay? Let's take a look now at the cards and see what additional messages are coming through. All right, as a quick reminder, you can use this for Sun, Rising, Moon, or Venus. Welcome, everybody. Uh, we'll go a little deeper into the Sun, Rising, and Moon portions uh, towards the end, so I hope you do stick around for that. All right, let's see what the cards have to say. Really interesting that we have both judgment and uh, justice here. We'll talk about that in a moment, but something's already been decided. It looks like for many of you, it's just a matter of accepting and embracing. Let me finish the um, pulling of all the cards and then we'll get into messages here in just a second. All right, folks, let's begin with your Catalyst card. And this, as the caption here says, is about sparking change, action, and movement in your life. Initially, the card came through reverse, but let's look at it in the upright position first and foremost. So the Fire Tiger. This is about connecting with your spirit-given gifts. Whatever it is that you came onto this planet with uh, sort of this natural inclination to do, or maybe you had an awakening recently and you're thinking to yourself, I really need to do X, Y, or Z. This is your time to connect to that. So a reversal of this could mean that you are struggling with confidence around owning that gift. And there could also be a moment to just get your footing when you've made a, a leap of faith in a direction. So when it comes to confidence, I can give you a page out of my own book on this. When I first started doing what I'm doing here, initially I thought, well, what will family say? What will former coworkers say? What will my friends say? What I quickly realized is the sooner I got cool and, and comfortable with, with what I do, just basically saying, I'm doing this because I'm passionate, I believe in myself, and I'm doing it with integrity. What do I have to worry about? So I, someone asks what I do, I tell them. And typically they're like, that's cool. What's, your, what's, what's the website? What, where do I find you? There's very little judgment because I don't judge myself. And that's where, that's where it starts, folks, because your crowning card is judgment. You have to believe in yourself and you have to stare someone's judgment in the face and say, I don't have a problem with what I'm doing. Why do you? What's, what's the issue? As long as you lead with integrity, you're good. And if your gift is something that you're really passionate about, you got to believe in yourself. So that's what I, that's the first message there. I just had to get out of my own head and say with confidence, I am a YouTuber, I read tarot, I'm passionate about um, intuitive development, I'm passionate about raising consciousness. If you wanna check me out, here's my channel. Um, if someone's really interested, that's what I say. And that's it, that usually stops that part of the conversation. I say, well, what do you do? Throw, <laughs> throw a question right back at them if you need to. But embrace who you are, believe in yourself, share your gifts, that's why we're all here. If you're a musician, if you're a mathematician, if you are a therapist, I don't care what your gift is, but whatever it is that you wanna do, 
please share it. You, you, you know, life is finite, so we really want to make sure you make the most of each and every day. Landing on your feet. You can land on your feet. Uh, you know, I, I haven't looked here. We don't see the Queen of Wands, but, but usually cats are associated with King and Queen of Wands. So you have the ability to land on your feet and really be a leader if you want to in this moment, because this is like the totem associated with that suit. So I believe in you. All right. And look at all the little butterflies in the background here. There is joy. There is a sense of self. The, the uh, tiger has its eyes closed. It's meditating. It's envisioning things. And there's change basically starting to happen as well. So fan the flames of change, of passion, and don't worry about what other people think. It's typically their own projected judgment on you. It's not yours. And sometimes we need to get rid of those lenses from our parents, from our friends, and from society. So one of the opportunities this month is to shed those old lenses and just see with your own view of the world. All right, we have a little bit of healing to be done as I look at your centermost cards. Right at the center, we have the Seven of Swords. You have a chance this month to step away from people who lack integrity, to call out anything that may constitute an injustice in your life or in others, and make a change. So the cool thing is you're seeing right off the bat what it is that just doesn't sit well with you. Someone isn't telling the full story. Someone is saying they're going to do something and they don't or someone's doing something wrong. The question is, what are you going to do to address it? And if it's something that you don't want to be connected to, what are you gonna to do to move in a different direction? So that's the first thing here. The Seven of Swords is still a reflection on something inward that we need to fix or we need to address. And typically it just has to do with accountability, honesty, and transparency. So when you make little commitments in life, like you say you're going to check in on someone, check in on them. If you say you're going to change something in your life for the better, maybe it's a health thing, you know, you're going to eat better, or exercise more, whatever it is, and you make that promise to your doctor or your family, do that, follow through. Follow through on the little things and then definitely follow through on the big things. Don't make empty promises to yourself or to others. And when others do it, call it out and say, I was really counting on you. It hurt that you didn't come through when I needed you. Are you okay? Uh, and if they are okay, then just say, well, it's not okay that that happened, so please don't do it again. Just be clear, clear on boundaries, clear on expectations, clarity, honesty, integrity. We'll get rid of the Seven of Swords. As we take a look at the card that's crossing the Seven of Swords, it's great, folks. It's the Nine of Wands. This is one of survival. You can see that the person on this card may be a little worse for the wear. She has all these stitches on her shirt. She's holding a uh, rose, which indicates here all the thorns, the difficult things that she's had to get go through to get to this point in time. But lo and behold, she's just one away from completion, the Ten of Wands. And she's kind of looking away and she's like, whatever, have your opinion, say what you need to do, you know, keep being yourself, but I'm not going to give up. I believe in myself. I believe in this path and I'm going to see this through. Let's look at your traditional card here because it's going to give some additional things that you need to uh, focus on right now. So we see the bandage around the head in the Rider Waite Smith illustration. This can show the mental fatigue, um, sometimes even the pain that we hold on to in our thoughts uh, that you want to work on releasing this month. It's also an indication that there could be stress headaches, migraines, TMJ, things like that, and you want to take special care. Self-care is coming through loud and clear. Both of these people have a different kind of strength. She's basically just not paying it any mind anymore. She's like, you've said everything and done everything you could. We're done now. This guy is annoyed, but he's not given up. And the persistence and the, um, the power and just that sort of determination is what I love here. So when people continue to, to do things that are wrong, you're coming through as even stronger and more capable of moving beyond that. So any challenge, you can meet it. That's the main message at the center. Now, as we look at the deep past, this is what the fire tiger wants you to do. Connect with source because they're both fiery cards here. So the sun in reverse, because it did come through reversed, is basically something that's overdue. If we take a moment and look at the traditional Rider Waite Smith card, we see a child on a horse that's riding forward. This could be a moment where you're supposed to announce, release, birth, or let go of something. And it's overdue in this moment. 
and you may be holding on to it, just like a little baby bird that needs to fly and get out of the, uh, the nest here, it's time to let that go. So that's the first message. There could also be a birth or an announcement coming through. It could be unexpected with this card in reverse. So this is about thinking on your feet and dealing with that as well. The other thing with this is about reconnecting with your own power because solar plexus, sun. So this is about finding your, your power, your voice, your passion, and bringing that through each and everything that you do. That's also a card, or this is also a card of charisma. And one thing here, as we remember the actors on stage, this is your chance to step into the spotlight, to be the sun or to be the star. Your moment has arrived and we're getting some clarification with this as well. Another interesting thing, and it connects with the promise message that we were talking about just a few moments ago. If you made a promise to yourself, when I grow up, I'm going to do this, or I had a bad example of teacher, friend, mother, father, and I'm not going to follow through and do that again. This inner child is coming through and saying, push beyond that old cycle or that old pattern and remember the promise. It's also just the inner child wanting to come out and play. So if you're not doing enough in your life that feeds the passion or connects with this fire tiger energy, it's time to do something that creates joy, passion, and fulfillment. Let's move on to recent past. We have the Queen of Pentacles here, and as many of you know, she's connected very much to motherhood or uh, parental energy, and it's really interesting since we basically have mother and child here, especially if we look at the traditional illustration, you can see it even easier. So the question is, is there something ancestral or familial that you might be releasing this month? Um, and are you willing to take care of yourself? Because a Queen of Pentacles in reverse is ready and willing to do what she needs to make sure that she's supported. Even if, or especially if, she's not getting that from her friends, her family, or the world at large. So this is a chance for you to nurture yourself, to release a wound from the past, and possibly to do a little bit of cord cutting because for sure the Nine of Wands has done some of that. And there could have just been a lack of honesty, integrity, or trust in the past. And if it is a family tie, we're cutting that cord. And we have rebirthing energy here. So here's something really interesting as well. Um, we have the baby, which is a newborn or a birth. And then we have rebirth here. Put them together and you can step into this moment with like newfound like rigor and integrity and inspiration and fire, all this really cool stuff that wants to present itself. But you have to be willing to say, I need this, I want this, or goodbye to something first. Basically speak up for what it is that you need. You know, just if I was doing a general spread and looking at someone around you, this would be someone that is too focused on themselves. But because this is in the past, it's saying don't forget about you. Don't forget about something that you need and don't forget to take care of your health, your happiness, and to follow your passions, okay? This is also a card of abundance. So if you've been lagging a little bit financially or professionally, we see you at a precipice right now for something new, but there's a decision at hand. In fact, you haven't yet made it externally. You've made it internally. Judgment is something that you've already realized, especially when it's coming through in the crown chakra or the crowning position. So I see that there is, there's sort of like this epiphany or aha moment. And then the universe, like I saw the two actors on stage is waiting to see if you're going to step through or if someone else is. I really hope that you take this moment and go for it. If there's anyone in your life that put something in front of you like, well, how can you walk away from this? A way to frame it up to help them understand is you're also walking toward your dream. So in order for that door to open, you may need to close one. You may need to release. And I talked about the cord cutting. So this is a month of ends and beginnings. And it's focusing on the beginning energy because judgment, you can infer from judgment that something has already come to a close. And this is life beyond death. This is the next step. So you may, you may want to kind of reframe it and get ready to tell people that. Say, I understand that it may be a little bit unusual to think about me doing this and not this, but realize this is something that you're passionate about if you are, and it's, and it's you taking a step towards your goal, not away from something. Sometimes we have, particularly family members, and this could be like a parent in your life, family members just want us to be safe 
but sometimes their desire for safety can kind of, it, it serves as an anchor rather than the wings. And you already have, where was it here in the deep past? You have the wings to fly if you're ready. We also have the wings here of judgment helping lead you in the right direction. Remember, it's your decision to make and you need to make sure that your judgment is really clear. So that's why this came through first, because we do have clouds around justice. And we'll talk more about that uh, when we get to that. First things first, what's coming through in the near future? Love. <laughs> uh, so we have the lovers. So for those of you that are looking for love, this card is basically a nod to that saying, if you've been waiting or you've been trying to create better balance, maybe in your personal relationships, your friendships or love interests, uh, this is a time to really put the energy there. For those of you that are happily single or are separated and saying, Nicholas, I don't want to focus on that. Then the lovers takes on a different energy. What it's going to do for you there is it's basically like a people magnet, but you can use that professionally or just like to pull in new opportunities. You're showing up with the lover's energy, which is like this big lucky horseshoe that's a magnet that's going to bring good things to you. And that's why I saw the spotlight and that's why the sun is coming through. So people want to be around you right now. And that could also be one of the challenges is dealing with spotlight energy when you may be used to being in the background. Spirit really is setting up this opportunity to step into the limelight. So I hope that that's something that uh, makes sense for you. We have love coming through again here. So for those that are saying, you know, I've been waiting a long time for something good to happen. The Ace of Cups is that. We can look at it more generally as a wish coming true, your heart's desires, kind of like the Nine of Cups. But this is really focused and we can see all those beautiful butterflies or moths coming out of that. So this is a chance again, I think where your happiness could equate to change or movement and, and taking a step towards what it is that makes you happy. But again, Ace of Cups can be someone reaching out to you and saying, you're the one. Now it could be you're the one for this job, you're the one that I'm looking for for a date, you're the one that I wanna become friends with. There's something here where people are looking at you and thinking, I like that. <laughs> and that's a good thing to have come into your general vicinity. Do you believe in that? You have to believe in yourself. Disbelief or a decision that you're not ready enough or whatever enough can throw the scales in a different direction. But right now, as it stands, we see opportunity knocking. What's going on in the, uh, in the environment here? We have the hanged man reversed. Things are going to pick up, but you may need to slow down for a second to get your um, sort of bearings, and that's okay. The hanged man reminds you of a couple of things. This is why when we, if we go all the way back to the beginning, I talked about the Four of Cups moment. Don't compare progress uh, in your own life with others. And don't take to heart too much expectations that are projected on you from friends, family, colleague, or society at large. You have to slow down for a moment and say, who am I? What do I want? Where do I stand with myself? And that's all this card is saying. Slow down before you make the next move. The hanged man in reverse can indicate that things are going to pick up quickly, that you may need to pump the brakes a little bit. And the main thing here is don't rush. Okay. As we look at hope, spheres, and opportunity, lo and behold, I didn't even see it because it was hidden. We have the Four of Cups, and I talked about that at great length earlier. So everything that I just said rings true with this. Also, look at how we can see spirit helping you out. And that is really what the Four of Cups is all about. Uh, I'm going to bring up that card that I had earlier, too, just for comparison. So we can see spirit offering something, the hidden ace. So here's your ace and spirits opening up and saying, do you want that? And not only that, but it's also having your back when things are not going the way that you wished or hoped or expected, because we can see here the umbrella. So you're going to be fine. Slow down, gain perspective, look around you, the person or the dream or the opportunity, it's right under your nose or it's right within reach. The universe is just inviting you to slow down as we saw with this and look around look in all directions because that blessing is there or it wouldn't have showed up here in the cards okay finally now let's really focus a little bit on judgment versus justice and let's break it down because i know that even for seasoned readers these cards can kind of get in the way sometimes but uh let's talk about this judgment means that a decision has been made now the elevated version of these two 
because usually it would be reversed. You would state your case, you try to make a decision and then judgment would happen. But because they're reversed, this can just be an inner reckoning that's waiting for action because justice is the decision. This is the acknowledgement, the epiphany, and this is the action and the outward sort of communication of it. Okay. So for the, for many of you, there's a higher calling, there's a knowing, and it's just about verbalizing it and taking action on it. That's easy. There could also be someone around you that is closed off. They've made up their mind before you've stated your case. And in that case, it might be time to move in a different direction. This could also be a decision for an amicable parting. Justice is upright, but because we got the justice, or the judgment card as well, there may be an understanding that something's come to a close. So you're going to very fairly and amicably and peacefully move forward. Okay. As we look at the expanded forecast here next, we can see which one of those scenarios applies. Uh, and so without any further delay, let's get into it. Focusing first on the energy of health, which is your mind, body, and spirit. I'm here to look at energy. If there's anything going on in your physical body, obviously work with a professional. I looked at this when I pulled it, and even though we're gonna talk about the stag, I also was like, this is the root of stagnation. And a lot of times I would associate a stag card with like an emperor or a king in some of my druid decks. So some of you are stagnating in something and kind of getting stubborn, or there could be someone around you that's stagnating or stubborn. And so that's the first thing is to release that energy. Looking specifically at this card, it's about trusting and thriving. Again, it is a very leadership oriented card. So are you ready to, to do what it takes? Because that's what these two cards are about too. I believe in myself and I'm going to make a decision once and for all to do something that creates more trust in my life, even though maybe in the past it didn't exist because someone didn't show me that sort of, uh, give me a reason to trust them. I'm done with that phase now and I'm ready to move on to something else. And I'm ready to thrive. And guess what? You don't have to do anything in this next cycle alone. There's a definite opportunity that's obvious. There's a hidden opportunity. There's love and support. And it's your turn. It's, it's time for justice in, in this moment in time. All right, let's focus on just health related messages. Solar plexus. Some of you may be feeling a little bit of um, intensity in the solar plexus. So, you know, the way that this would manifest is there could be digestion issues. Um, some of you might be pregnant or um, be dealing with issues with a parent in your life. So we just want to focus on that part of the body, doing whatever healing needs to be done there. And if anything's out of balance, working with a doctor to find the balance there. But that's the first uh, chakra that came through with solar plexus. Uh, when it comes to making important changes, you have to be ready. You have to really believe mind, body, and spirit that this is the, the change that you need to do. So there's a reality check here, which is, are you sure you're ready to commit to anything, but especially a health change? When you are, then you have what it takes to get there, but make sure that you're truly ready for that first step. It's important to slow down a little bit and to take care of yourself. So before you move on to a relationship or a move or anything else, really focus on self-care. Healing wounds or emotional sort of energy between parent and child, whichever end of the fence you might be on, that's coming through here as well. Doing some healing with those who have passed, passed away, whether it is a parent or a child as well, there's a chance for that to be heard and received. And let's see if there's anything else here. Finally, just creating better balance in your life. So the judgment card and the justice card are about understanding uh, what the changes are that you need to do in your life and then basically making sure that you are creating that. So maybe more time with your friends and family, maybe more attention to just general health and well-being, a little less with work. We don't have a lot of pentacles here aside from the queen. So it does feel like this is a moment for you to really um, put more energy into relationships, into health and into happiness. Let's now take a look at wealth, which is resources, life, purpose, and career. We have a beautiful card coming through here. If we look at the top, it says quest. We have basically what could equate to what you sometimes see in the 10 of wands, which is a mountain that you have to climb. You might be on one end or the other, and it's basically saying, don't give up. That's why we had the nine of wands at the center. There's also a lot of clouds around this. And whenever something starts off 
sometimes at the beginning there can be ambiguity. We can even see some clouds around the head of justice here. So you really want to be clear on what it is that you want. This is especially true if you're trying to manifest something. Okay, now let's take a look at the cards here. And speaking of things that you want to be clear on, any legal matters this month? It doesn't matter if you're working, retired or whatever. We're going to do a general sort of touch on all these things first. Uh, Seven of Swords means that there could be a contractual uh, loophole or something in the fine print that you would miss. Push back on that. Get some help. Really make sure that whatever it is that you sign or agree to, you 100% understand it and it is balanced and fair. If not, push it back and say no, okay? So really be picky and discerning and get a good set of eyes. This can be more than one legal set of eyes to make sure that this is okay. So any important sales, deals, or agreements should be vetted out by more than one person. I think it's really important this month to get on top of your finances and make sure that you're communicating that again to your partner and to your friends and family. Whatever your needs are, your desires, get that out there. You have a lot of partnership opportunities coming through this month, so you don't have to do something alone. Let's break this down now on three different categories. We're going to start off with those of you that already have a job, and then we'll look at um, job seekers or those that might be retired or unemployed. So if you are currently employed, some of you are ready for the next big thing. This is basically you saying, I'm either going to step up and break through this moment or I need to move on. The decision has been made, but no actual, for some of you, no movement has been done on that yet. I like that you're being cautious whenever it involves a big life change like this, but what Spirit is coming through to say is seek, seek counsel or assistance. It's, it is your moment now to do something that you love, and it feels like the universe has your back. So pick your moment, get all of your aces and opportunities aligned, speak up. One thing here is that you, you have a card here of communication and power and worth, so say, I'm worth this, I'm ready for this, how do we make this happen? Um, you don't have to be so kind of blunt like that. You could say, I've been working here for a while, we've talked about this before, I'm really hoping that there's a, a clear path to this. What is it, what's necessary to bring this into fruition? So you can, you'll find a way to articulate it better, but it is basically, if not now, then when? And if they can't come through, if they say they're gonna do it and they don't, then I see other people around you that are more trustworthy or more capable of bringing this to, um, to fruition. So some of you are just ready to move on and take a journey and do something different. Go for it if you're ready. This could also be increased travel for some of you. And um, if that's something that you're passionate about or comfortable with, then this card is basically a confirmation of that. One last note, and then we'll go into job seeking. Um, if you currently have a job and you're feeling like I need to do something new or something else, this is a hidden skill because we have it here, share your gifts, and it's kind of been pushed under the rug here, and this is a decision. It's time now. I have to do something different. Reinvention. The sun and judgment in this connection especially is saying don't. This is denial, and this is basically don't deny it. You are ready. Uh, you can do this, and this is a card of ownership here, the stag. So own your gift. You can land on your feet. Just get your finances and your, your sort of network built out because you do have one here and go for it, okay? Let's move on to those that are either starting or restarting their careers. This could be either students or those who have taken a leave and are coming back. So for those uh, who fall in those categories, a reminder here, you, you have a chance to reinvent yourself, which we just talked about, but also you have an opportunity to do something counter to what was expected of you. This is parents, society, other people, leaders in your life. And this is you saying, I want to do something else. <laughs> and it's okay. It's okay to do something else for those that needed to hear that. Because this is a fulfillment card. So if there's something you're really passionate about, it is the passion that comes through as the gift that we talked about earlier. You can just see all of this beautiful energy emanating from that. So follow your heart. Don't follow the template that has been put out there from parents, from society. Do this and it will be uh, predictable, reliable, um, you know, safe. Safe doesn't always constitute happiness. You have to do, uh, you have to take a leap of faith sometimes. 
for the rest of you that are like, no, I know what I'm doing. There's none of that tension. This is a really good month for networking. Your job opportunity can come through or your, your big opportunity can come through a friend or word of mouth. It's also a really great time to throw your CV or resume out there because this is something being received in the highest light. This is someone looking at you thinking this is a match. You still have to go through the sort of, there's a, basically whenever there's an ace, there's a promise or potential, but there's always follow through. So this is just saying, push yourself out there, go for it. Don't get in your headspace too much and really believe that this is um, a match that you can do it. Your belief also attracts someone who believes in you. Like energy attracts like energy. Some of you may be looking at a legal career. Some of you might be going into social justice. Some of you just want to change things up because again, this is not the status quo. This is a change. This is something different. We even got the butterflies and moths on this card. They're coming through in a few of the other cards as well. So this is about a new chapter, okay? Have fun with that new chapter. And whenever you're doing something, make sure again, whether it's a contract or you're signing up for a class, that you're looking at the fine print, the prerequisites, all of that, to make sure that there's nothing that's hidden. Don't be impatient on the time that it takes to do something. You know, don't take shortcuts, basically, is what I see with this, okay? Now, for those of you that are retired or really not focusing that much on working at the moment, uh, then it looks like relationships and networking and working with people is what's coming through the most. There may be someone unexpected coming from the sidelines that taps on your shoulder for an opportunity. You can weigh that out and say yes or no. Make sure that it feels good to you. Don't overcommit. By the way, the Seven of Swords can simply be um, you really intending to make everything work, but knowing at, on your heart of hearts that there may be too many uh, things that you're kind of spreading yourself between. So just like the Two of Pentacles, Seven of Swords can be overcommitting. Don't overcommit. And that's pretty much everything, folks. Let's go ahead and move on to love and relationships. Uh, this can be any element of your life. It doesn't have to just be... Uh, romantic relationships. And basically we have a wisdom card here that is reversed. So this is something contrary to conventional wisdom. Think of this as the Hierophant in the Major Arcana. Uh, and basically this would be you going in a direction that was unexpected. There's a little bit of rebellious energy that's percolating through the reading today. And I'm all for it because this is not a month of the status quo. This is a month for reinvention, for reimagining things. You've worked really hard to, uh, to get where you're at, and now is a chance for you to do what you wanna do and to trust that inner child. So let's go ahead now and see how that wisdom card plays out here. Uh, I wanna first talk just high level about all types of relationships, and then we'll delve into uh, the three categories that I normally look at. So. No matter where you stand, whether you're in a relationship or looking, whether you are focusing on personal development or other things, people are coming into your life right now. And by the way, this is kind of a connection to, for some of you, the wealth energy. You may find yourself um, being considered for a job or an opportunity where you really like the other person. Maybe you know them, maybe just respect, you really respect them, but no matter what, the best person will come forth. There may even be a chance for both of you to go forward because spirit even couldn't quite identify that. So there's another hidden option here, which is uh, there, there might be a partnership on the horizon, business partnership. So that's something where it could be a friend, you know? Uh, anyway, I see new people coming into the horizon um, or into the periphery. I see a lot of attention coming through in this moment in time. And it's a chance for growth, personal growth. So these are good things across the board. Let's take this one area at a time to get a little bit more clarity. So for those that are in a loving relationship right now, here's what I see. The first thing is for those of you that might be earlier in the relationship, starting out just married or talking about getting into a long-term relationship, there is the question of family or no family, like whether you're going to have children. And you may be on different sides of the fence there. So I think it's really good to talk about that sooner than later to make sure that there are no surprises down the road. And don't commit to it if it's not something that you don't want. It's okay. Each person has a different thought on that. So just be honest. That's the main thing here. 
There could be an unexpected birth coming through as well. And there are decisions that have to be made about what repercussions, like how you're going to resources, goals, all of that. So I can definitely see how that could throw things in a new direction. Um, so that's one thing that I'm picking up on. I'm going to look at this all as like committed and stable, and then we'll look at it in other levels as well. But so if you're committed and stable, the main thing right now is just to be honest about anything that's coming through a desire to start a family, a new pregnancy, concern over money, um, a desire to want to be with the partner a little bit more because I can see that as well. Communicate. That's the key thing here. And realize that we really are going to maybe for some of you have a little bit of a test of that better or worse energy. The judgment card could be a loss or a challenge that's outside of your control. And this is a moment where you could really rise up because by the way, that is something that you see in the judgment card is rising up. So if you can make it through the current challenge or opportunity, you guys have what it takes, okay? That's the healthy relationship and the challenge with the healthy relationship. For those of you that are kind of on the fence of if you wanna move forward, it's showing up here. Judgment is a decision that's been made but hasn't yet been communicated as we talked about. Justice typically is an amicable um, departure and the two cards together here show that it's, it's something where the writing is on the wall. So for those of you that already know, it looks like it could be okay. Take your time, lead with love, be smart about things, make sure that you do fight for you know what's right, but it looks like this can be an amicable split for those of you that are already in that direction. Okay. So mostly with healthy relationships, it's just honesty about money and family and maybe making a little bit more time. For those who are parting ways, you can do so easily um, or generally speaking without a lot of toil. Let's go ahead now and take a look at those that are single and looking. Can you find love now? Absolutely, especially when we have the lovers and the ace of cups. Uh, this is probably karmic in nature because we have the judgment card and it could be a Libra because we have justice here. The interesting thing, we also um, here in the recent past have someone that could be coming back into your life. Um, this would be an earth sign. So Libra or an earth sign. Uh, and those are what are presenting here in the spread. But there's a couple things to be mindful of right now. First things first, the partner that you're pulling in could have a child, um, could also be focusing on getting out of a relationship. And you really just want to be honest with one another to make sure that they are fully ready to commit to something new, that there are no attachments with respect to like still being in the contract of marriage, or that maybe they just are more kind of like looking for something that is not as serious as you are. So just put it all out there and have an honest conversation with one another. I think that is the most important thing. The other thing is uh, for many of you, it looks like just the speed with which things move could be surprising. So the new relationship that could come into your life might be really, really fast, or it might be taking longer than you expect. Trust that the universe has your back. Everything in karmic and cosmic timing. Uh, and that's the last piece of advice that I have there. All right, if you are happily single and not focusing on relationship energy, this represents a chance to have a rebirth or turn a new corner in your life. This could be a new job. This could also be new friendships and new connections. No matter how you slice it, this is a really exciting period for you. You may also be interested in teaching, mentoring, or sharing your experiences with others, and they're more than ready to listen. It's a really exciting thing. All right, let's go ahead now and move on to the destiny card. Um, in the destiny space, we have my sexuality is sacred. This is a really unique card to come through um, in destiny. And for some of you, this is just expression. Because when we think of the second chakra, it is about your goals, your passions, your sexuality, but also your creativity because that chakra holds all of those energies. So I think the main thing here is to express who you are, what you stand for. And by the way, this can also be who you decide to love and date. And uh, this is also your own business too. So sacred meaning like not everyone needs to weigh in on this. And it could simply be, you know, your choice in partner, whatever, that's your choice. Be happy. <laughs> Basically, the universe is coming through and saying, be happy. And this isn't a decision that mom, dad, society or other people really have much business saying anything about. Okay, so it's a nice 
kind of build out of the relationship spread that we just talked about. But the other bigger piece is passion, purpose, and sort of the larger reason of why you're here on this planet. So back into the uh, fire tiger, share your gifts and reconnect with that energy. All right, let's now move into sun, rising and moon sign messages and see what's in store. Sun, rising and moon. You heard me laugh a little bit because two of these were ad additional cups cards. So suffice it to say, for those of you who are looking to improve a relationship, find a relationship, work on networking, focus on doing something creative, or just have more fun this month, it's looking pretty good. Uh, what I love about this particular Knight of Cups is we see that Lotus Blossom. She's been through some stuff. Um, and that's what the Nine of Wands was all about. Why do I say that? Because anytime we get a Lotus or a Lily, uh, you have to push through all the darker levels of the water to get to the light. So everything that you've done has set you up for some joy, for some happiness, for something good. Don't second guess that when it comes knocking. It's a good time to have a good time. Um, we see her also working with the energy of the heart chakra. She's playing the heart strings. You have the ability to be really persuasive this month, to connect with others on a, a level of passion and creativity and using your emotions to the best possible end. All right. And yes, you could meet someone. And yes, it could be a Knight of Cups. This could be a, a beautiful water sign energy coming forth. Uh, with all the water that came through this month for you, this could definitely be that. So um, loving everything that I see with this. Take the next step. Knights move forward. They follow their dreams. They follow their passion. So this is an invitation to move forward and do just that. Nothing bad at all about this card. Just positive energy for, um, for sun sign messages this month. Moving on to rising and ascendant. Two of cups in reverse. This is a little bit more nuanced. Let's look at this card a little closer and let's look at it um, in the upright position. So notice the intertwining tulips there and even how that person is kind of like in the shadow or in the background. So this is a moment to seize an opportunity. There could be someone around you. Like I said, if you're not prepared, they're prepared to come in. So be mindful of that. Don't hesitate this month. This is especially when it comes to anything where you're throwing your hat in the ring for consideration, competition type stuff, um, because they may not have the same consideration for you that you have for them. And I'm not encouraging like cutthroat energy at all. I'm just saying if you're both karmically and cosmically aligned for this opportunity, may the best person win and just put your best foot forward. Don't mute your shine. OK, um, this is also a discernment card and a detangling card. So the discerning piece is if someone comes through and they don't meet your expectations, then it's OK. Um, you don't have to say yes to every opportunity or and especially in love or partnership. So make sure that you're discerning there. And when it comes to the closest of friends and family members, you may be needing to just take a step back a little bit to clear your mind, to clear your head. And that's OK, too. Time and space um, are, you know, obviously something that you can decide if you need more of. For the moon sign messages, we have the eight of pentacles. The card is in the reverse state. And this is basically saying that some of you want to finish what you've started. This could be going back to school. This could be picking up on a project that was nearly completed but put onto the back burner. And lo and behold, you're going to make a lot of progress if you fit into that category. For those of you that are thinking of starting something new, there may be a little bit of a learning curve, but it's totally worth it. The Eight of Pentacles a lot of times is a card of education or apprenticeship or knowledge gaining, but it in this particular illustration, because it was reversed, it just means a little bit of an initial push and then things go swimmingly. There's definitely creative and transformative energy. She's painting a moth, basically, or a butterfly. So in this moment in time, give yourself all the sort of support and patience that you need. Don't rush through something. And if it's a little hard at the beginning, don't give up. You will have a chance to eventually um, land on your feet, like we saw with the initial catalyst card. And as long as this is part of your gift and passion, there'll be a lot of joy. And there's those butterflies again. And if you're just feeling butterflies, kind of like a question, can I do this? 
yes, you can do it. The Eight of Pentacles is very much worth uh, the investment of time and energy. Now it's time to take a look at the final question for today. This is a chance for you basically to take a look at everything that we've discussed and see if there's one more question that you have for me. Whatever that question may be, please just hold it to yourself for a second. Let me shuffle the cards and let's see what Spirit has to say. You received the Five of Cups, which is the universe coming through saying, things are better than you think, but it does require you to look in all directions and to focus on potential, not to be overly critical about something that didn't go the way you hoped or planned or envisioned. Because yes, we see a few things here that didn't um, match up to expectations, but lo and behold, there's still growth. And not only that, if we look at the traditional card, there's support. These two cups could literally be the two of cups, which would be a partnership, a friendship, or a person who has your back. And yes, again, there may be people around you who haven't sort of met all of your expectations, projects that didn't go the way that you wanted. But if we look at the spread here, the universe has always had your back. Um, you're maybe just being asked to slow down and look in a different direction. Because this is so unconventional, that gets lost in this illustration. But traditional um, hanged man is really about looking at the world upside down from, an, uh, from a different angle. And maybe in doing so, you'll notice the love, the support, the opportunity, and you'll just decide, okay, we're gonna go in this direction instead. If you are pushing for a yes or no, this really isn't a yes, no question card. Um, it is basically saying that the first thing that you need to focus on is getting past a disappointment. So process your emotions first and sleep on something before making a major decision. I think it's a not yet if you're gonna push me, but there's a really good sort of silver lining. There's something even better waiting or there, there's something more that you need to look at first because we did have the Seven of Swords at the center. So just take an extra moment before moving forward, really make sure that you're certain, and then when and only when you feel that sense of certainty move forward, okay? It's a little more nuanced. Not every card is a binary yes, no. All right, if you enjoyed today's reading, uh, please do me a favor, hit that thumbs up, it's free, it helps other people find this video and it lets me know that you enjoyed this. If it's your first time watching, hit subscribe so you don't miss out on any future videos. I'd love for you to also follow me on social media, it's always my full name, Nicholas Ashbaugh, and you can always go to my website uh, to make sure you can get all of those links. They're also on the main channel page. Quick reminder, I don't offer any private readings. If someone DMs you or asks you for money in a message, uh, you know that's not me, just block report. Also leave a message here so that I can tell and uh, put in a report myself. All right, if you would like to show support, you can do it through an official channel like this, through super stickers, super chat, thanks, and then also through the membership buttons, all uh, clearly indicated right below the video. And that's everything, folks. I hope you enjoyed this. I post new videos every Monday, Thursday, and Friday, unless I otherwise note on the community tab. I do daily videos and also a live stream every Sunday. Check it out if you're around. It's at 9 a.m. Pacific time. That's it for today, and that's it for this month. I hope you enjoyed, and I hope to see you soon. Take care.